Hey, this is Justin Hazley here with Solutions for Real Estate here at uh, 5109 Harlan Road in New Albany. This is sitting on just over a half acre property in a beautiful setting here in New Albany. You've got actually a great opportunity to uh, secure this price now. Um, up the street here, you've got some homes that are being built, constructed right now, uh, in the $800,000 range, and uh, you've got some a country club up the road. So uh, this property is an awesome opportunity to get um, get your hands on a property at a lower price than what's being sold around it. And uh, when it's time to resell, you'll be a happy camper. So let's take a look at the uh, inside of this property. Uh, you notice it is open. You can go right back there to your backyard. Two-car garage. We'll get a chance to check that out for you here shortly as well. Okay. And this is like an awesome cottage feel with all the modern amenities you can want. All right. So as soon as you come in, you obviously got your coat closet. And then you see a very welcoming, spacious living room. The carpeting throughout this entire property is actually a good combination of being very uh, durable and light. Let me get you another view of this living room here. And nice windows over there. Okay, that's the living room. Let's check out the bedrooms and baths. Here's bedroom number one. Looks like there's some little girls that stayed here. Obviously, this is a nice light green color. You can talk to the owner about changing that, but I'm imagining he wouldn't see a reason why not to. Okay. We've got some closet space here. We'll explore the closets in the other other room. Here's the first full bathroom. Now this beautiful tiling here. Double sinks. Very nice. Very big bathroom. Got a very, very nice uh, cabinetry here as well. Throughout. Plenty of storage space. Kind of keep your nice bathroom looking good, right? All right. And here is the linen closet. This home has so much storage, it's hard to really grasp it with this video. But here's just a, you see this linen closet goes back, way back there. If you won't have any problem storing your linen. You can keep your bathroom I guess, that the guests would be using and the visitors would be using looking decluttered, which is always important. All right, here's ba bedroom number two. Pretty in pink, we'll call it. So definitely a little girl lives here, I hope. <laughs> All right, you'll notice there's ceiling fans in the bedrooms. Um, they actually have dimmer switches, which is pretty cool. And uh, control them here. Okay, let's take a look at these closets. Alright, you'll notice you have a uh, closet design here, lots of racks, make sure that you maximize that space as well. Leave that open for now. And here's the master bedroom. Okay. It's a pretty good size room. Uh, this has got to be a king size for sure, at least. I don't want to overstate it, so I'm going to say only king size. And you notice plenty of walkway space. You got a, a Chester drawer, nightstand, dresser drawers. Same setup here. Well, not same setup, but uh, double racks. You can store tons of clothes in this closet. And if that's not enough storage space for you, don't worry. We're going to show you a huge, mostly finished basement, but you can store anything you want down there. 
Now take a look at this master bathroom. Very beautiful, very tastefully designed. Got your faucets here. And a standalone shower. Nice shower head there. Get all the nooks and crannies. <laughs> Alright, so those are the bedrooms. And uh, you notice you can get a, take a look at the backyard from here. Watch kids play, dogs play. Uh, there is an invisible fence already in the backyard if you do have a pet. That's a big money saver. Nice and convenient. Alright, let's take, check out the common areas. Take a look at this open floor plan. It's amazing how they have this home designed to be a, a small cottage feel, but yet it's open and uh, lots of touches to open it up, like these skylights here. If you'll see, you'll notice those throughout. You've got your fireplace, plenty of space to entertain. You can put a china china set there, no problem. There's a really good size uh, dining room table. And here is the kitchen area. Once again, storage is a absolute one of the biggest benefits of this home right here. Obviously, you've got your refrigerator, stove, and uh, dishwasher. But just take a look at all the cabinet space here. I'm going to try to capture it all. It's not really possible with the camera, but lots and lots of cabinet space, countertop space. Yeah, they really maximize it. And a lot of people love these features here. You've got the corner bread box, or appliance box, apparently. And uh, Lazy Susan in the corners got two of those, one here and one here. So uh, your biggest problem is going to be having enough food to fill all the cabinet space, not the other way around. All right. Here's a really unique feature of the property as well. Is this uh, sunroom. And when I say sun, I mean sun. You'll notice the skylights there. Very open, beautiful flooring down here as well. And... Uh, over here you have an exit to the side of the property and some additional storage space here. You could store some bikes there, what have you. In the back, you can see a beautiful deck. It looks well maintained. Looking into the woods beyond. There's a shed back there as well. And you see there's a propane tank, but uh, that's going to be removed. There is actually a gas line now. Just another one of the upgrades available to you. Now you do have a two-car garage, of course. Security system as well. Pretty standard two-car garage. Uh, there's tons of extra storage and shelving installed here. Uh, that's always going to be a plus. All right, and let's take a look at the partially finished basement. And uh, I think when you see how much space is down here, you're going to get even more excited about uh, the hidden value of this house. All right, now the uh, pre the previous tenants here are actually moving out, so you'll notice tons and tons of boxes. But just try to get an idea of what you could do with a space this deep. <laughs> without all the boxes and things in the way. You notice it goes all the way back there. We're going to go actually head around and, and get a view of that. But this is being pretty much, from what I can tell down here, the entire length of the house or close to it. And you notice there's carpet down. And it's very comfortable down here. Definitely a comfortable temperature. So I imagine there's some insulation involved as well. Okay, so here's the unfinished side of the basement. You got your workbench. Get some work done. And looks like the previous tenants are like to do their own woodwork and looks like they're putting together a table back there. So there's plenty of space. Another workbench. Space for your washer and dryer. Okay. So both finished and unfinished space galore down in the basement for you.
So we're going to take a look back here, follow the path. I definitely don't want you to uh, miss out on the depth of this finished basement, finished portion of the basement. Disco ball not included. <laughs> well, everything's negotiable, we'll see. <laughs> but anyway, um, so this is the back of the room. You can see the stairs are way over there. So you can turn this into your man cave. It can be a little uh, mother-in-law suite, apartment, place for the kids to destroy while you keep everything clean upstairs. Uh, just the additional storage space, movie theater. The possibilities are endless, and you can do all that without missing out on the unfinished storage space on the other side. So this house looks like it's a perfect fit for you. Don't hesitate. Call now, 614-835. 654 and if you do then this could be the view outside of your front porch sooner than you may think